Hello, this is Yanis Varoufakis with a message from DM25. You may have read in the newspapers, heard on the radio, watched on television, the triumphant announcement that uh, President Macron of France and Chancellor Merkel of Germany have come to an agreement to create a very large fund, about 500 billion euros, that um, pulls together resources from the European Union, a form of a eurobond, to fund directly, without loans, businesses and societies and communities across the European Union. The purpose of this brief message is to urge caution before we celebrate. First, let's not forget Messenburg, the castle in Brandenburg where Macron and Merkel met in June 2018 to announce triumphantly another initiative, the creation of a fiscal union in the Eurozone, the creation of a common budget for the Eurozone member states. What happened to that? <laughs> Nothing. It ended up a pathetic line somewhere, a footnote, in the European Union budget worth 0.01% of the total domestic product of the Eurozone. But even if this latest Merkel-Macron proposal sees the light of day, gets approved and proceeds exactly as announced, very unlikely, but let's suppose that it does, it's not a Eurobond. It does not constitute a transfer of debt from member states to the European Union. Thus, it will not reduce the pressure on Italy, on Spain, on Greece, on France, indeed on Germany, to lessen the austerity wave that's going to hit our economies next year. As for the support that companies are going to receive, make no mistake, most of it is going to go to large companies. It will not end up with small business. It will not end up with those who truly need support in order to survive this huge new recession and the repercussions of the great austerity drive that the European Union's fiscal stance is going to bring to us next year in the years to come. The European Union will continue to disintegrate as long as these decisions are taken behind closed doors, in castles, in rooms with adults that are not particularly good at even looking after their own interests. DiEM25 is here with our proposals that would be therapeutic for the whole of Europe that would unite Europeans and would reverse austerity for the many and socialism for the very few. Carpe diem.